As we all know, the lawyers who filed Carrie Lake's ridiculous election challenge lawsuits following her loss let this past November uh, to be Arizona's next governor, that instead went to Katie Hobbs, who actually won the election. But Lake's lawyers were sanctioned by a judge a few months ago. And now one of those lawyers that was listed as the lawyers that will be sanctioned, they haven't figured out the amount yet, but it could be upwards of $141,000 split between the lawyers. One of them is now arguing to the judge that, Hey, you can't sanction me because I technically wasn't even a lawyer there. I only worked with them for like three or four hours. This lawyer says, and I got to be honest, the lawyer actually makes a compelling case if, and only if you ignore all the other evidence. So who is that lawyer? You may be asking yourself, well, it is none other than famed trial lawyer, Alan Dershowitz. Now we all remember back when Carrie Lake first announced her legal challenges, Dershowitz was out there in the media talking about the lawsuit, admitting he was, you know, a part of this now. But now, now that of course the lawyers have been smacked down for filing frivolous lawsuits and making claims that are completely not based in reality, Dershowitz is like, whoa, 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 whoa. That wasn't me. I did. I didn't, I didn't even meet Carrie Lake. He said, never met her, said I wouldn't vote for her. I don't support her or her policies. Alan Dershowitz says. So let me read this. This is what Dershowitz told us district judge, John Tushy. He said, I do not like Miss Lake. <laughs> I would never have voted for her. I would never in a million years be part of any campaign to influence or affect the election. I did this because I believe the constitution requires that people who perform government functions be as transparent as the actual government. Yeah. Sounds about right. And of course he did mention that he was only a part of it for like three or four hours. And in that capacity, he says he wasn't even talking to Carrie Lake. He was actually providing legal advice for one of her lawyers on the constitutionality of filing a challenge to an election. Now, if those were the cases, like if that was just all that there is, I would say that Dershowitz is correct. You know, you weren't advising Carrie Lake. You didn't handle the motions. You weren't, you know, making the arguments. The lawyers reached out to you and said, Hey, we know you're a renowned legal mind. Is it legal for us to even file these lawsuits? Not didn't get into the merits of it. Didn't make the claims. Just said, do we have the ability to file lawsuits? If that is what Dershowitz advised on, then he should be in the clear and should not be sanctioned. But that's not all that happened. Is it? I mean, that's kind of from this article here, what Dershowitz wants it to seem like, but that's not what happened at all. You see, there was a little bit of a filing error with the lawsuit and Dershowitz was actually listed as the lead attorney on the case. And he signed it, his signatures on that, that says I'm the lead attorney, according to the lawyers for the other side, for the state. They say, we got your signature right here on this piece of paper that says you are the lead lawyer. And Dershowitz says, well, actually, see, that was an accident because I was supposed to be listed as counsel, not of counsel. So, you know, oops, I probably should have read it a little better, but that's what, that's, it was just a mistake. Okay. Now that's a little bit iffy, right? And it gets worse for Dershowitz because according to one of the lawyers for the state, let me read this from courthouse news service. Uh, one of the lawyers cited a phone call between counsel on both sides that Dershowitz was present for, as well as a hearing in which he participated telephonically to argue he had a larger role than he admits. That's what the lawyer says. Dershowitz acknowledged the phone call, but said he never said a word and hung up early when he realized the constitutionality topic he was brought on for wouldn't be discussed. So yeah, I mean, yes, I was on the phone call for the hearing, but like y'all weren't talking about what I wanted to talk about. So I just hung up. Oh, and your signatures on the thing, man. I don't know. I don't know. This kind of seems really bad. I mean, again, you were out in the media also, and I know the lawyers didn't bring that up, but you were out there and you were talking about it. So I don't know, Dersh. Kind of seems like you may have to open up your pocketbook there.
because your fingerprints are all over this, whether you intended for them to be or not. Your name's on it. Your signature's on it. You were on the phone calls. It sounds like you might need to pay up. Hey, everyone. This is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen oh, not be so grumpy.